wow that was quite something from sleepy sort of tainted lions that were just really not doing very much to absolute pandemonium and chaos in all of about two seconds feel as though it just all erupted there now the last time we saw that little leopard was just here in front here and I'm just trying to check now if there's any footprint whatsoever that's crossed into the side because I lost sight of her as soon as we kind of got up onto that hill I just saw her running and then I just lost her and I don't know if she just went down into the bush or if she decided to cross it's also not the easiest place to look but I'll tell you what if I was a leopard I'd also be out of here very very quickly no no more sign but let's go and sit with the cubs for a while and just see so darling you want to know what leopard territory we're in right now well none that I know of this would have been Karula's territory this is I don't know of any other female leopard up here there might be a female that's been on Biffle's hook southern Manuleti that we don't know about but I certainly don't know of any female leopard it would be the first female leopard that I've seen up in this section and I don't know I mean I've spoken to Jamie I've spoken to Brent spoken to all of them and even I've spent a lot of time up this side and there is no other females that I know of around here so it's sort of interesting to to think about it and interesting to to sort of wonder who this could be and whether or not there is another leopard that's lurking around you or like I say could the the sort of inevitable well not inevitable could the magical happen and it could be Karula wouldn't that be something if it was her coming back you can see our little cubbies are still just sitting waiting patiently hoping that moms have found the food that they're after so you can see they're all just lying down and you can see the sort of youth in them is and the visual cues that are given by the adults that allow these cubs to know what's going on they saw moms getting up and they started to follow thinking that they were going to move they then saw the females go into stalk postures and they heard the impala's alarm call and that's when they all just sat down straight away and they let the females go now the females are nowhere to be seen i can't see any of the females anymore and yet these guys are just sitting patiently waiting once the females have decided what's going on you're going to hear them contact calling and either the cubs are going to go to the females or the females themselves are going to come back to their cubs but wow what a special sighting that was so Kirsten you want to know whether the lionesses would fight or if they would call the cubs back well in terms of sorry Greg my fault I'm in the way there um, in terms of fighting um, with the leopard well no not really because they wouldn't really fight if it got into that situation they would have killed that leopard very quickly but in terms of um, chasing the leopard yes and then they'll come back to the cubs and they'll call either they're going to call the cubs to where they are if they found a food item or they're going to come back and settle back with the cubs themselves now I believe all of you are hoping that that leopard is Karula well <laughs> wouldn't it be something if it was I I don't know if it would be just because of the behavior of that particular cat granted there are lions around and it is nervous but as soon as we turned and tried to follow it in the bush that cat started to run it was kind of trotting but it wasn't really running too fast but as soon as our wheels touched the grass it then took off at a rate of knots and so that tends to tell me that this is a leopard that is potentially very nervous and not used to us in any way whatsoever so I would imagine that it's it's probably not Karula but like I said can we not wish and can we not hope and wouldn't it be amazing if it was right well let's go back across to Byron because Byron has a, had a lot to say today and he seems to be the all-knowing wonder of the world and so maybe he knows which leopard we've just seen <laughs> 